Gav, we'll start with the disappointing bit in that opening 10 minutes. What's your initial reaction to that? Um, just just si simple mistakes. Um, like it's been going on all season, I think the, the mistakes are lapse in concentration or not, not wanting to deal with the situation in, in hand and switching off. The first one's obviously a mix-up between centre-half and goalkeeper. Both should do better, pro Yeah, to be fair, the keeper should come up first, then the centre-half should kick it off the pitch, but he tries to hold it up and then let the keeper come. Mix-up, obviously awful, you're, you're chasing your tail then. Then obviously their outside forward comes in off our full-back, I think, and there's no, he obviously gets caught ball-watching. Gets done in behind them. They score one touch. Then straight away you're chasing your your tail. It's the game plan goes out the window. We are trying to adapt, but then because they're such a, a possession based team, you're struggling then because you're two 0 down. So we are getting after them early. Yeah, that's fine. Trying to create. And yeah, next thing you know, you're in big trouble because they're two 0 up and they love it. They're gonna make five hundred, six hundred passes. Um, that's the frustrating part that we've given ourselves yet again. So much to do, but we didn't we didn't quite stick to the game plan, which was the most frustrating part, to be honest. You mentioned the lapse of concentration. How frustrating is that aspect, given that it's you know cost at the time so far this season? The problem is you can't do anything as a coach. I don't. <laughs> it's a, it's impossible thing to the concentration part. Yeah, if they'd have done us like I said, I would. I wish they'd have cut us open and like played the up back through where they did up times and maybe they 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 misplaced the pass or that or. If one of them had come off and they scored, then you you hold your hands up and say that's fine, that's good, just good football. But unfortunately, they've they've scored scored two goals where we've switched off, where we've made a lapse in concentration or not not been brave enough to make that decision, which is fine. I tell the players you'll all make mistakes, but make them trying to do the right thing, not being being scared to make an actual mistake. You mentioned it there, but of course it's very difficult to come back and you know look positively responding to that. So how did you and your staff look to get back into that game following that ten minutes? Yeah, we had to adapt and try and um, get back around the ball more. We, we we just had to throw the game plan out the window because when you go 2-0 down after 10 minutes, you've got to try and solidify because it can go 5-6 as we've seen here against Aldershot. If you start chasing your tail and you get out of shape and you start doing the wrong things, then then it's a big problem. But fortunately, we, we solidified it. Um, Start getting a few half chances, got into great positions that time and didn't quite make the right decision, which was frustrating again. But listen, it's all learning. We've um, we've probably come up against a better team than us there, to be honest, and that's just sometimes it happens in football. Sean McGurk kept his place, of course, Sads and Aaron came in today. What was the thinking behind those decisions? Um, Sean kept his place. He was obviously outstanding. He looked, to be fair to him, he looked leggy. Um, Look short of breath. He's been a little bit ill, I think, but I think he w he said he was okay. So it's frustrating. But then Sads is obviously going to come back in. Dawson's out, but then he gets the yellow card, which is frustrating again. He's going to miss two games, so we're very light there anyway, as it is, which isn't isn't great. But yeah, um, Aaron come in them really well. Got hold of it at times. Spun them in behind him and. Him and Chaz did well together. I thought when they were up there, if we had to put it into them more, I thought I think would have been, we would have had more, more end product, more, more runs behind, more chances. To be honest, more chances. We had listen. We probably had more chances than them today. I think, but the realism is you get beat two 0 because you switch off twice and that's it. As he said, they, you know the game plan would have been to you know go up to Aaron. But of course, with the ten minutes we had, the game plan sort of goes out the window and things have to change there. Yeah, yeah. When. <laughs> It's just, it's football at the end of the day, and that happens sometimes. Listen, we we've had four unbelievable performances, and then we we didn't have one today. That's that's how it is. We didn't we didn't play the way we want to play. We didn't operate in the space. We got marked. We got up against people, which I don't want. Our forward players were up against their defence, which we don't need. We got to play with depth to suck them out of places to play down the sides of them and create pockets of space. We kind of we conceded that goal, and then we back we went back to the Swindon, who's like. Who feel sorry for themselves? Who 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 doesn't look to make mistakes? Trying to trying to do the right thing, and that was the most frustrating part. You touched on there, but as you mentioned, you know, since you've come in, there's been a level of attacking performance, and you seem to be lacking out there today. So, how frustrated are you with that today? Yeah, definitely. I think we we were we are a bit blunt at times. We we had our moments. Listen, like everyone's going to have in League Two, you have your moments. Um, Charlie scores a great header, and then there. 
to be fair, I think they they were a bit jittery in the second half. They kind of I've never seen them before. They were going long a lot um, when we put them under proper pressure. Um, yeah, but at the end of the day, obviously it's two one defeat. It's not great, but we'll get there. Obviously, we'll polish it off, debrief it Monday, and then look forward to another nice one against Stocky away. Of course, there'll be frustration and disappointment today. So, what's the message like in the dressing room? How do you respond to this? Yeah, listen, it's it's it, we got to change the mentality of the whole club. I think I think the thing is we're 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 a team at the minute that feels sorry for ourselves. So when we go that one two down, do we go under? No, that was that was the pleasing thing because before when we went one or two down, it went f three four five. Whereas today we've come back and we've weathered the storm, and then at the end we're chasing, we're sending the keeper up with two minutes to go. He tried a scissors kick or that. Not quite sure who you got that one out of, but yeah, listen, happens football at the end of the day. You're going to win games, you're going to lose games, but it's, it's how you react from it. Of course, fans are naturally going to be frustrated with the result and ultimately where we are on the table at the minute, but we've still got time and still a bit of you know league games left to play this year for other season. Yeah, exactly. I know it's been a, it's been a crap, it's, it's not been a good season for the fans. Um, started off so well, then fell off a cliff. Now I'm trying to put it all back together, which is, which is not easy, but... All I can do is give it my best, give the lads a structure of where we want to get to and what we're trying to do. And I think we, we kind of went away from that today. We weren't that team that I want us to be, which is the most frustrating part. Just would let you now have another week to get back to that when hopefully return to a, you know, a better performance away at Stockport next week. Yeah, definitely. I think it's going to be a tough game because I think they've been beat again today. So obviously the beast has been rolled up. So it's another exciting one. Listen, it's a learning curve to see why, why didn't we play our attacking stuff today. Was it because we, we felt under pressure when we go 2-0 down and we, we revert and back to the, the the bad habits that we've got sometimes? Or is there something else? But I couldn't. I need to watch it back to be able to get to a conclusion on that. You mentioned a beast being awoken that you hope, you know, with today's result, hopefully we open a beast ourselves and hopefully get better performance on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. I think five games, four good performances, one very average performance today. I think, to be honest, if we're being honest, there's no excuses from me. It's um yeah, it's just one of them days where it didn't go right. We were chasing at the end, which is good. But we've actually for once showed for once this season we showed some character and belief, and we didn't go under. It's usually we're the team who's struggling when we go two 0 down, but we actually got back on the front foot, chasing it at the end. But not a great performance to be honest. <laughs>